Okay. All right. So thank you, Rondi, so much for coming on live with me. Well, we're not live. We're on, on Zoom. We tried to do the live thing, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to do a recording for potential clients, for viewers to get an idea of why people go to mediums, um, what your experience was, things like that. Um, you know, you've, you've had a, a, a few readings by me and I've, I've mentored you a couple through a couple things as well. But um, Rondi, like I said, thanks so much for coming. And I just, you know, I, I don't want to tell you what to say, of course, I just want to get your feeling for why would anybody ever go to a medium? Gotcha. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Stacy. Um, it's really great to be here. I've been curious since I was a little girl. Like I've had visions that come in dreams and I didn't never, you know, I always like thought, wow, what is the meaning behind this? And uh, when I moved to Maryland, I met somebody and she's a medium and my curiosity was up. So I, I went to her, but I have to say coming to you now, the two, I've been to two groups, no, three groups, three groups. And you did a past life and regression a private, as well. past life regression. And then the private reading, which mm -hmm. blew me away, blew <laughs> me away. So okay. whoever is listening, if your curiosity yeah. is up and you have questions about your life, what direction it's heading in. I just so recommend coming to see Stacy. <laughs> so when, when you attended the group reading, um, because I like to look at what I do as more of an evidential medium than psychically. Right. So when you, uh, what made you come to like the first group reading and, and what was your experience? Um, the first one, was at this full heart solution in Bel Air. And I came with two of my friends and I know she had lost her brother and the mother came with her. And I said, why don't we go and just check out what this is all about? And I was like, okay, you know, I got some validation, like, you know, because my mom had passed and you know, I, I was very close with my mother and I just wanted to connect with her and, and know that she's still with me. But then at Denise's house, brought it home. I am never alone. And it was beautiful. When you got to me, I was like, I started crying immediately. And I felt this strong connection because First of all, my dad, well, my mom died in 2016, and then my dad passed from COVID a couple of years ago. Well, mm. now, almost three years ago. And you made it, you just validated that, because I, I was like, oh, he died alone. He was on a ventilator, and the hospital was in lockdown, so we couldn't be with him. Mm. It was horrible. And you assured me and I knew it. My mom was waiting there, right? He just went right into arms. He was tired. He was 93 years old. He oh, God bless week, you. Yeah, he, he passed a week before his 94th birthday. He was tired. He was right. really tired. And just knowing that mom was there just waiting, I mean, I, it just gave me so much peace in my heart. 
Right. Because, you know, we right. go through this grieving process. I miss them every day. Right. And I think about them. And, you know, this has just opened me up to know that they're right there. They're just, right. They're just another room away. Right. So was there something that was said that you, man, that's my mom or that's my dad? Because I hear a lot of people will say, you know, that mediums are very vague. Oh, your mom is with you and she loves you very much and she's okay. What I like to try and do is give you evidence that, you know, with a shadow of a doubt, this is mom, this is dad, this is my brother. Um, And fortunately or unfortunately, after I do readings, I don't remember what has been said. So was there something that jumped out at you where you were like, oh my gosh, nobody would have known this. Um, This is definitely mom, dad, you know, whomever. Dad, absolutely. Oh my gosh. And I shared this with my husband that what he said when I finally owned up to myself and took responsibility for the things I had done because I got sober in 2001. Okay. Totally validated that. And I was bawling like a baby because he's like, you know, she finally came to that person who I was intended to be all along. And he said, you know, that I took the action and, you know, owned up to myself. And I was like, Oh my God, that's bad. There was no denying it. Right. well, good, good. Because that's that's what I, I try to do as much as possible. I want to give you evidence that you, this is your loved one. Whether I, I did a, a reading for someone and it was at Full Heart Solution. And, I, I, the, and the mother came through and the windshield wipers on her car were broken or something. I said, she's asking me about your windshield wipers. And she was like, oh, my God, you know, the other night it was pouring down rain. I felt like I should pull over, but I thought I'll just keep on driving. And she said, all of a sudden, my windshield wiper stopped. So I had to pull over and wait until the rain stopped. So it was things like that, that she was like, I knew it was my mom because like nobody was in the car with me. I didn't tell anybody this. So I always like to, that's one thing I try to really stress when I'm doing a reading that I can say to you, I either you know, visualize what your loved one looks like or what there's what they would say um that you're like oh my god that that's so them like nobody knew that and one more thing that you said that um dad was describing his beautiful bride and that's what he called you know said about my mom all the time i was like oh there you go there, there you, you go. go that was it that, that was, was total it about because you didn't know that no i didn't tell you anything no and you just brought it all home I was a, I was a good mess that night. (laughs) Yeah. So do you find that the reading brought you peace? Absolutely. And knowing another thing that really stuck out with me because my mother always checked in on me. We spoke every day on the phone and you told me that like, sometimes I, I wake up startled. Like, how did you know that? Right. Well, that's my mom is right here blowing me a kiss on my face. Like, ah, it makes me feel so like I'm not alone in this world. We are not alone. We're not alone. Uh -uh. No, there's actually, you know, to me, there's another chapter after death. You know, their spirit, their energy is still around, you know, and we just need to, oh, Thank you. We need to ask for signs. And, you know, I know recently you've been getting a lot of really great signs. Um, (laughs) And when you, when you ask for signs and I have a lot of clients say, well, I ask, but then I don't see the signs Um, and whether you're busy or whatever, but how do you feel? Why do you feel like you notice the signs? Because I like to meditate a lot. So I'm clearing Mm -hmm. my mind of all that stuff that blocks me. Right. right? And then I go out and, well, you know, the Cardinals are always around me or even scrolling on Facebook. I will get, okay, I get it. It is time to move, you know, move forward and, and take action. I'm like, oh my, okay. I hear you. (laughs) 
it's so funny because the more I meditate, the more open I am and can and can really hear and see like the voice that comes that that tells me it's not my first thought. I've learned, you know, being sober for a while. Don't listen to your first thought. But then I hear right. that that whispering. Right. And I've been able to pay attention to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, and I feel too, once you have a reading and you're not as afraid or skeptical of it because you know, oh my gosh, this was mom. Then when you start to see signs, you're not as skeptical with yourself of, was that really a sign or am I just making this up? Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not skeptical Mm -hmm. anymore. And we. You know, people, you know, share my experience. Not everybody's open to going to a medium. And then I get, you know, the holy rollers where they don't believe. I'm like, they are not there spiritually. They are not open to new experiences. You know, Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, my God. It just, there's absolutely a connection there. Right. Right. Well, and and a mediumship reading isn't for everyone because some people don't want to know and and i'm i'm fine with that you know it's it's not for i'm not going to shove it down someone's throat but it always blesses me so much when someone comes in for a reading and they're very mm, solemn or very sad or you could just see it in their eyes and then during the reading all of a sudden it's like oh my they get lighter and and happier to know that their loved one is is right there with them they're standing beside them they're talking through me and talking to them um what you know and i wish everybody thing. yeah it's it's it it does it, it humbles me that people will will choose me to come to to talk to their loved one for them and then for me to witness that healing process that goes on um it's it's just a blessing And I would never be that medium that says, oh, you need to come once a month or, you know, you need to come. It's, it's that, you know, now you've been to, you said three groups and one private, but that's been over a matter of what, four years, four years. years? Yeah. Yeah. Four years, four years. I did the one group that's Pat this year. And then last year I did one in January, right around my sobriety date. And then it was like two years before that. Mm Mm-hmm. And then did this private one, which was so awesome. <laughs> yeah, we did. That was just what last week. Yeah, be, my, last the week, twenty second. Yep. Oh, yeah. My. Yeah. Okay, people. Spirit comes through. So, Stacy picked the first card was an animal medicine card, and it was a swan. And my mother was so connected with swans. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I said, okay, so mom, okay. put that card right on the table. Which, okay, uh, mom. Yeah, okay, mom, we get it. All right. Yeah. You're here. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that always amazes me when, you know, I'll I'll pull a medicine card on someone and there's a connection like that, or I'll pull the card and it's number 32 or whatever. And the the clients are in front of me. That was their son's football jersey or baseball jersey number. Well, what does the number have to do? What does the number mean to you? There's a reason why it was why it was pulled. Um so I mean, how did you, how did you find out about connecting to spirit with Stacy? I think through full heart solution. Well, for, oh, that, yeah. So you did say through full heart, full heart. We've done yeah. a couple um, group readings there. Yeah. Um, they have a, and if you guys have not been to their shop, it's a beautiful shop. If they had a, a location upstairs, it was sm- small, kind of quaint, it was really small, you know, yeah. um, but I think they've changed um, what they do up there now. I think they've got a bunch of stones and, and rocks and crystals and things, but we haven't, we haven't been there in a little while. Um, but I just love that shop. You have to go in and see Lisa and Diane if you haven't had a chance They're to. They're great. Great people. They, they, they really, really are. They're a hoot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So, so um, um, what, how would you, how do I want to say this? Um, what would you say to someone who is on the fence about having a reading done? I mean, how would they 
prepare for it or how would you, you know, if a friend said to you, I'm thinking about it, but I don't know because I'm a little bit afraid or, uh, you know, because of how I was brought up that it's wrong. How would you, um, what would you advise them? Uh, first of all, if you're feeling like you, you want to, you want to go experience it, but like you said, you don't know how, I would say just take a moment and open your mind and be open to it. Because what have you got to lose? Honestly, right. from the first medium I ever went to, what have I got to lose? <laughs> you know, right. I just had that curiosity. Right. So, I, you know, satisfy my curiosity. But now it's like, I want more. But I would just say, I would even offer to go with them, you know, if it was a group reading, so they maybe would feel more comfortable, like the lady I brought last year to Denise's yeah. house. So, you know, just relax and be open to it. Oh, and the lady I brought this year, too. She was very skeptical and didn't know mm -hmm. what to think about it. And I said, it's okay. Just, you know, keep an open mind and listen and listen with your heart. Mm -hmm. Now, open your heart and mind and just see what comes. And she was in tears, so I knew something was going on. <laughs> right, right. So you've gone to a couple readings. I mean, have I ever said anything to anyone that uh, would scare them or that you felt like, oh my gosh, she shouldn't have said that? Because I have people say, well, I'm afraid to come because I'm afraid of, you know, spirit might be disappointed in me and they might yell at me or they might be mad at me. Has anything ever come across that way? No, and that's not your intention. You don't like you're always with light and love. Mm -hmm. Right. I love that. And every person that got a reading, I watch people and to watch their reactions. And I see the tears coming. I'm like, there's some healing going on there. And right. it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Right. Because we call in spirit with that love and light. Right. Right. And I mean, God is in control. Without right. God, I would not be able to do this connection. And I just feel like I'm this vessel for him permitting spirit to trust me enough to give the right messages. If that makes sense. Absolutely. Okay. That's Anything what I want to be like. <laughs> I want to be able to do that for people. Well, you've mentored with me and yes. worked on opening up to, uh, to your gifts um, I do also also mentor students into opening up to their gifts. Um, and I think you've come a long way in just even like the last couple weeks. <laughs> you know, we finished our mentorship. Oh, gosh. It was a year ago. In a year ago. I was going to say yeah, it's, been, it's been over eight months. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. and it just needed to like sit with you for a while, I believe. You know, until you were like, till you were ready, till spirit was ready for you. Um, but now it's like, boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're seeing all kinds of things <laughs> open up for you. Absolutely. All these Absolutely. new opportunities and I'm like the way I'm thinking and, you know, just being led by spirit. It's just a whole new world. Like you yeah, said, you I, just, I had to say with it. I wasn't ready. You yeah. Know, I had too many things blocking me. Yeah. Yeah. And that happens to a, a, a lot of um, new mediums. You know, we're too inside of our head. You know, as, as humans, we're too inside of our head. We critique ourselves to death. We think, why would they choose us? We all have some type of extra sense, whether it's intuition, whether it's music you know it's it's something we all have some gift within us we just have to trust and believe and hone that skill that gift and walk in faith and know yep. that you know you're doing service the way you need to be doing service you know anything can be done the right way or the wrong way you know and if you're doing it for the wrong reasons it's not going to be as strong so right. that's just my own little soapbox of what I believe in. So right. I believe that too, a lot, Stacey. Yeah. And I get to experience that as far as healing people at my job that come in who are in crisis. 
Right. And like I have like a set of like I do this group every day. And I'm supposed to follow protocol. But like today, these women opened up in the first group that I sat in with a heavy heart and shared. And I got to ask spirit to guide me what I should do to help them heal. Right. And we had a great conversation. I w- we talked about self-compassion and we did a 10 minute guided meditation. It was awesome. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's amazing when you trust God, when you trust spirit, John Holland has a saying that says from spirit through spirit to spirit. And I, I love that it has nothing to do about me. It's spirit giving it to me, my spirit giving it to your spirit. Right. I you love know? that. And it just gets yourself out of the way. So, um, you know, like I said, I just wanted to have this quick conversation with you and I have, you know, a couple other people who are going to have, you know, short conversations with me about this because I get a lot of questions um, from people of well, what should I expect? And so I thought, you know what, what better way than to have clients say, here's what I experienced. You know, exactly. this healing process this you know and 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 you've sat in groups so you know and you you're a people watcher they come in kind of heavy hearted mm-hmm. and they leave like oh my gosh yeah what a blessing that is absolutely you know, you know? so i do my best to serve god and spirit the best way that i can Um, do I get it wrong sometimes? Absolutely. (laughs) You know, no, I can't. I don't know what anything that that you're telling me means. I don't, I don't know, but nine chances out of 10 later, I get a text or I get a phone call. Oh my gosh. I was talking to my sister about this or my husband. She understood that or he, the message wasn't for that person. It was for the other person. Yeah. You know, very cool. Well, Rhonda, I just want to, Thank you so very much for sitting and talking to me here for a few You're minutes. You're welcome. And, you know, letting uh, people that are members of Connecting to Spirit with Stacy, and, you know, this will be on the YouTube channel or the podcast as well, just to kind of, you know, get an idea of what to expect from a medium or what to expect when you sit with me. Um, not that I'm the best medium in the world. I'm not alluding to that. But you get different experiences when you sit with different mediums, you know, Absolutely. I may not be the medium for a particular person and they rant and rave about someone else for some reason. You know what? You needed to hear that message from somebody else. And I'm cool with it. I mean, there's enough people who have died for enough mediums that are, you know, out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that um, was great. You know, I just want to thank you so very much for joining me and um, if anybody is interested in scheduling an appointment, you just visit uh, connecting to spirit with Stacy.com, the website, and you can go on and schedule. You can email me or um, go on Facebook and private message me. So that's it for our talk tonight. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Sorry, I couldn't get it to work live, but um, we got we it tried. figured out. <laughs> All right. So um Rondi, if you just hang out here with me for a second, but uh, I'm going to shut this off. But thank you, everybody, for joining us. Yeah.